we do? We did adaptive target picker, and we're going to do jit.rota. This is pretty good. Um, so we have our, our quick uh, frame grabber here. We'll open the camera. Um, there we go. All right, so what's happening here? This is doing the grabbing inside here, and this is all the stuff we need to you know, uh, grab uh, the right input if we have an external USB camera or something like that. Uh, so don't worry about that. This is just the normal um, sub patch we use all the time for grabbing frames from a camera. So QMetro has that. Um, it's going into this um, uh, FPS GUI here to tell me what the resolution is, 1280 by 720. It's going to a P window here. The height of the P window is being set automatically to have the right aspect ratio, so it's not squished or squashed. I want it to be 320 tall, and then in that case, it's going to be this wide. I don't know how wide that is. but uh, All right, the video is also being sent over to JIT.ROTA and then going to another P window. So ROTA is like a filter, and this ROTA filter lets you do various things. It lets you set the anchor points, the offsets, and you can zoom in and out. You can set the bound mode and you can set the rotation. This says theta, which does, nobody's going to understand. Let's just call that theta uh, rotation. Okay, so theta is the, how you want to rotate it. Yeah, and rota can be used not only with jit.grab, but it can be used with jitmovie. Mm -hmm. Yep, jitmovie, anything. So here we're rotating our, our uh, taking this video and rotating it. So. Um, these are all JIT uh, FP, uh, JSUI, so this is, uh, these are all... Um, attribute? At sorry, attribute, yeah, so this is the attribute inspector. Um, and these are fine if you just want to change some numbers for yourself, but you can't pipe numbers into here from somewhere else, like if you were mapping s the amount of sound from the microphone into the amount of rotation, you could do that, but you, you can't do it with the uh, attribute inspectors. You actu actually have to set those using these messages. So here we have this sub patch that does theta dollar sign one. Uh, so I've kind of hidden that all the way and turned it into this nice, like simple thing. So now you could take numbers from any source and map them to uh, rotation. And you might probably be able to go through a jit dot scale, uh, a scale operator or something to right. change those numbers. Um, all right, so let's say we wanted our anchor point for the video to be right in the center of the screen. So that would mean uh, 640 by 360, uh, which is half of the dimensions of the video that's going in. So let's set our anchor point at 640 by 360. Okay, um, now we have an offset of zero. That's just how you want to offset your anchor point. So we'll leave that at zero, zero. And now when you zoom, it's going to zoom with keeping the anchor points in the center of the screen. So we're zooming around the anchor points. So you can zoom in. Um, and this is where the offsets might come in handy. So if you wanted to move, change where you're zooming to, uh, you do that here. So, um, you know, we know how to zoom with the target picker. There's seven, seven ways to do everything in Max, so uh, <laughs> right. it's okay. Uh, and then, let's see, let's zoom out. But our anchor points are still moving this to off screen a little bit. Okay, there we go. So um, there's a bound mode, which if you change your bound mode to zero, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be polite about how it draws thing to, things to the screen. It's just gonna leave whatever junk behind it uh, leaves behind. Uh, bound mode one will then clear that up for you, which is a little nicer. Um, you can rotate the image upside down. Uh, you can have, let's see, what else can we do here? That's about it. Roto lets you rotate things. Basically, Oops. zooming and rotating. Yeah. yeah. Positioning. Yeah. Positioning. Good. Good? Okay.